It started from Madpei, it went into all the whole northern region. I hope this time around, uh, hepatitis B, having raised it in parliament, will not take long for government to respond. That has prompted Health Minister Dr. Christine Ondoa to reveal startling statistics. She told Parliament that the highest hepatitis B infections were in northern Uganda, with about 25% of the population infected. The other areas are West Nile, North Central and North East. Southern and Southwestern regions recorded the least infections of 7%. Hepatitis B actually is transmitted more faster than, is more risky than HIV about 10 times. The minister also revealed that most people with the virus are unaware and could develop devastating or fatal liver diseases and unknowingly transmit the virus to others. You may get hepatitis through kissing, for instance. Through kissing, yes. The ministry laid out plans to prevent transmission of the disease caused by hepatitis virus B. These include community sensitization campaigns, routine immunization, early screening and blood screening before transfusions. Also cited was the need not to reuse injection needles and safe sex practices. The ministry has distributed hepatitis B vaccines to all the districts. It's a sexually transmitted disease essentially. It also is transmitted by body fluids. So us who supply blood, us who deal with, uh, with blood like health workers, we vaccinate them so that if a health worker is contaminated, he doesn't spread the disease. We also vaccinate the children as a routine. The ministry says Kidgum has reported 99 suspected cases since July 2011, three dead and two now admitted at St. Joseph's Hospital. Lira District reported eight confirmed patients, of whom four succumbed to the virus.